They're like little cockroaches, you just can't kill them. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a brand, grow your business, and pursue your passion. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're gonna be getting into our boxy charms. You know, boxy charms, the ones that are pink and come in an Ipsy box, boxy charm. And somehow, I don't know how these boxes here have managed to still find their way to me, even after I lost my card, even after my bank was denying all of my purchases. I got so many notifications saying that my Ipsy charges were denied, but still they're here. They're like little cockroaches, you just can't kill them. I did eventually fix my PayPal, so maybe Ipsy just kept like charging and charging and charging until the charge finally went through. Because here we have the June boxy charms. Or maybe it'll be like next month. I won't actually get any of my boxes, but here they are, the little the cockroaches of the beauty box world. I guess I could say something nicer. You know how like in the craft world, like glitter is the... <laughs> <laughs> that's still not nice. Never mind. That's not a nicer saying. Yeah, anyway, they're hard to get rid of, like glitter or cockroaches or telemarketers. So we're gonna be opening these up. If there happens to be anything interesting on the inside, I'll do a little try on at the end. That's why I'm starting off barefaced here. But let's get into our first boxy charm. And yes, I do still have resentment saying that. I think it's ridiculous. And J Lo is just like going hard with these Ipsy boxy charm boxes. Everything I have opened from them since the swap over to like boxy charm, or maybe even before, has had a J Lo beauty product in it. Does she have stock? And Ipsy, or maybe reverse Ipsy has stock in JLo. Ooh, okay, this might actually be kind of fun. The first thing we have in here is from Il Maquillage, and um, this brand is everywhere, at least their foundation. I have seen an Il Maquillage ad for their foundation probably every day of my life for the past couple years at this point. I'm actually thinking about doing some videos where I buy all the stuff that is continuously advertised to me on like TikTok and things, and uh, this brand of foundation is one of the things I have saved to potentially buy. This is the Color Boss Squad Call the shots quad. Oh, <laughs> because I had already said squad, I thought I just repeated myself when I said quad, but those are two different words. So we have the outer packaging, which is kind of like this ombre brown and yellow. So I'm gonna assume this is maybe like a natural looking palette. This is very heavy. This honestly feels like really nice quality. Ooh, okay, so this is a very neutral palette, but the colors are really pretty. I kind of expected them to be a little bit more on like the warm yellow tone side, um, but I personally really like these types of shades. It looks like these three here have a bit of a shimmer to them, and this, I think, think is supposed to be. So I had to quit filming for approximately 30 seconds because I had to change my battery and in that time I forgot what I was saying. I know we were talking about this palette but lordy knows what the last thing I was saying was but I do think these are pretty. Oh I think I was talking about this color. So we have some shimmers here and then this one almost seems kind of like it's a matte but it almost looks like there's a bit of like a satin sheen to it. Oh it's an interesting texture when you swatch them. They're not very like powdery. They're almost like what would you what would you call that? Like your finger doesn't really scoot over them real good. It feels like it's really picking up a lot of product when you swatch them. But I actually think they swatch really nicely. Like even that kind of satiny matte, it swatches just as well as the shimmers do. Yeah, I think these are really pretty. I like that. And I think this feels really nice and high quality. So we're off to a good start with our first boxy charm here. All right, next up here, we have two Little Beauty sponges, one blue and one yellow. Very interesting colors. These are from the brand Mo Beauty. <laughs> M-O Beauty? I don't know if it's supposed to be like Mo Beauty or like Mo Beauty. It sounds the same almost. These are the Flawless Coverage Cosmetic Blender Duo that are late free. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think this little sponge here is pretty much on its last leg. This used to be kind of like an aqua blue at one point. So um, I don't think any amount of washing is gonna save that. So maybe we'll get some new sponges here. Mo Beauty. Ooh, okay, they do feel pretty nice and silicone-y. I like that kind of feel. Very soft and squishy. One has a flat edge, you know, good for like full coverage kind of stuff, foundations and things. And one is just nice and pointed and rounded. All right, following that, we have something from Trace Luce Beauty. Oh, it's an eyelid primer. Okay, uh, eyelid primers are typically not my favorite thing to get in subscription boxes just because I standardly don't really use them, but let's go ahead and see what this looks like. It feels kind of nice and heavy. Okay, that's kind of fun. I like the little yellow top. It actually matches the sponge. I don't know if that was intentional. Oh my gosh, the whole thing matches the sponge because of blue and yellow. Ipsy. I mean, boxy charm. Was that intentional? <laughs> that's kind of cute. I got mine in the shade light and I kind of like the packaging. It's like a nice big chunky packaging. It does just kind of look like a concealer. Like this, if you asked me what this was, I would very confidently say concealer and apparently I would be wrong. As you guys know, packaging can really convince me to like a product. So because I like the yellow lid and the chunkiness of the square acrylic, then maybe I might give this eye primer a try. Oh, and that we have something from Context. I'm gonna assume it just says come clean. Oh, is this a perfume? I was gonna say, I assume it's a mascara and I, again, I would be very wrong. It doesn't say at all what it is. Oh, I was wrong oh, so many times. It just said come clean. It didn't say anywhere on here that this was a lip product, but uh, yeah, it looks like a lip product. It is a liquid lacquer in the shade come clean. Actually, I kind of 
like this. I'm afraid it might be a little bit on the light side, but I don't know, maybe not. There's no scent whatsoever. Oh my gosh, I almost got myself a mustache. Oh no, oh no. Man, I really wish I hadn't wasted that. Uh, I swatched it on the back of my hand and unfortunately, this is just one of my like least favorite types of shades. It's very milky, which you guys know how I feel about milky shades. And there is definitely a lot of like paler pink, paler peach look to it. Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, pigmentation to it. It's just unfortunately not a shade that I would select for myself. I never, I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have swatched it. I knew I should have saved it for somebody else, but now it's touched my hand. They really should honestly put more like context on this box because it, it truly just says come clean and nowhere on here does it say it's a lip product. And I don't know what goes inside things. There's the ingredients on the back, but I couldn't tell you what they make. All right, and then, oh dear. Last but not least, we have a big gold shiny tube and that means it is from JLo Beauty. This is a That Hit Single Cream Gel Cleanser. And uh, yeah, you just cleanse with it, massage it all over your face morning and night and then wash it off. See outer box or insert for warning. Well, that's where there's a little bit of an issue. There is no outer box or insert. So whatever you're trying to warn us about JLo, we don't know. We don't know what it is. Uh, it does say that it's supposed to brighten, refine, and soothe your skin. So yeah, it's just a nice big thing of cleanser. You do get five fluid ounces of it. I'm gonna assume this is like probably 30 bucks. I feel like this is like a $30 cleanser. <laughs> Most of her stuff has been in like the 40, upper 40, $50 range. So for a cleanser, I'm gonna say 30. But we do have a little card here. Hopefully this will actually give us the prices because inside the Ipsy bags, there's almost never prices. Are you kidding me? Have we just decided all together to stop telling us how much our boxes are worth? Every single BoxyCharm box, I mean, ugh, this is what's so frustrating because I feel like when BoxyCharm and Ipsy merged, things did not get better, <laughs> they got worse. I really enjoyed my BoxyCharm and honestly, this wasn't a terrible box, this wasn't a terrible BoxyCharm. But little things like that, BoxyCharm always came with prices in it. But like now, why would you even put this in here? Like what is the point of even putting this in here? There's just colors listed on it. What do they even mean? I understand that you can go on the app, you can log in, you can go see all of your stuff, you can go to the prices, add it up yourself, that used to come in a handy dandy little card here that was inside of your box. So when you opened it up, you knew right then and there how much it was worth, what the things were used for, maybe the warning that came on this. I don't know why that bothers me so much because you can find out that information, but like if you're gonna go through the trouble of putting a card inside of your box, at least have it make sense for the box. I got some lovely pictures of Margot Robbie and Rihanna and Camilla Cabello, but like that means nothing for this box. Why put this in here? <laughs> Okay, that was an unexpected rant. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but this box is valued up to $200, but th that's a wide range of like zero to 200. So, and for somebody like me, I'm gonna have to go like track down which account this came from to actually get the full value. So let me go ahead and do that so I can give you guys some prices and we can see if we think this stuff is worth it. Okay, finally, I found it. I found the account associated with this box here. So let me go ahead and tell you guys the prices for all of these items. So we have the JLo Beauty Cleanser, $38. That was actually a bit more expensive than I thought thought it was gonna be. We have the eyelid primer for $16. <laughs> Honestly, this is so much more annoying than getting just like the little card that comes in because you have to click on like each thing individually to see the price. And if it was like a paper saving thing and they weren't gonna put any card in because I wanted to save paper, I would understand. But they're still putting a card in the box. These two little sponges here are 18 bucks and there's no way I'm gonna remember everything. The contact liquid lipstick is 24. And then this little quad here is $42. That's a little bit over $10 per pan. That's incredibly expensive. I mean, it does feel really nice. It's nice, heavy, nice quality, it seems, but like, dang, that's expensive. Now the task is seeing if I can remember all of those prices so I can type them into the calculator. How much was this? 16, maybe? That sounds close. 24? I think I remembered everything correctly, but man, you know, it would be really nice if they did something like, oh, if they like put it like in a card or something that had all the prices listed on it and then like talked about the products. And then you could just look at the card itself with all the prices right there and add everything up super simple and easy. I feel like that's an interesting idea. Maybe they should do that. My total came to 100. $38 for the value of this box, which is an okay value. I typically definitely like to see anything over a $120 value, so that is pretty good. And there are some things I'm excited about in here. Unfortunately, it's not my most favorite box, but I am pretty excited about this little eyeshadow quad. The rest of it is just, it's okay. Let's move on to our second boxy charm here and see what we got. Does this one say prices on the inside? No. 
No, it doesn't. Oh, this packaging looks really cute. This is from Half Caked. It is the double dipper and just the packaging is really adorable. I feel like we've received some like lip products before from Half Caked, so I'm excited to see what this is. It's a color duo in the shade Girls Tour. Oh, cute. Kind of like Polly Pocket packaging to it. Just like some nice light pink hard plastic. Oh, okay. So we have a blush and like a highlight. The blush is very, very pink. That is quite bright. And then the highlight's like a nice golden shade. Maybe a little bit more on the peachy side, uh, but yeah, that's cute. I like the packaging and the colors are okay. I feel like this is a very kind of like springy, summery color palette for the cheeks. So uh, yeah, cute. Oh, and we have a repeat here. We have another Il Maquillage little quad thing. Um, I do really like these shades and the palette seems really nice. So that's not too bad to have two. Oh, and that we have something in a little plastic baggie. This is from Origins. Oh, oh okay. So <laughs> this looks very familiar because we did just get like a tiny version of this, I think in the last Ipsy's that we did. I did an unboxing of like the base Ipsy bag in my last like unhinged Ipsy unboxing where I did 11 Ipsy's in one video. <laughs> so I think we got a tiny little guy of this in that. This is the Origins it Checks and Balances frothy face wash, which is a real fun word. Right, they really just put like everything inside of skincare. Like anything they can think of, they'll put inside of skincare. So this is supposed to be gentle enough for daily use. It has broad leaf kelp extract in it. I don't know what that is, but it sounds kelpy. Um, <laughs> wheat protein, which that's interesting. I wonder, does that mean this isn't gluten-free? Like if somebody with celiac were to use this, would they have a reaction to it? Cause there's wheat protein in it? Is that a silly question? I, re I truly don't know though because some people are very very allergic to like gluten and wheat products. It doesn't seem to say anywhere on here that there's like a warning that that could be a potential allergen like wheat but it says wheat proteins. I don't I don't know. I really don't know. It is supposed to easily rinse away makeup and take away like impurities and surface oil so I mean that all sounds really good. I'm gonna give it a little sniff to see what it smells like. Maybe not. Oh, okay. So when I was looking on the ingredients to see like if somebody with a gluten allergy could use this face wash, which again might be very silly, but I was reading the ingredients and I saw that they had listed spearmint in here and you can kind of smell like a mintiness to it. So I wonder if it would be maybe a little bit cooling. That might be nice. So yeah, I face wash from Origins and uh, Origins is a pretty fancy, expensive brand. Fancy, expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fancy, expensive. That's what this is. Anyway, next up here, let's see what we got. That is the tater time alarm, so I gotta go grab his medicine real fast and I'll be right back. All right, next up inside of this box, I feel like this looks very familiar from the uh, Ipsy's that we have done. Or maybe just a lot of brands use the same type of packaging because this was not what I was anticipating it to be. We have two brushes here from Farah. See, this, we just got these not too long ago, so I was expecting more MOTD brushes, but no. <laughs> well, I guess just a lot of brands use the same packaging. Oh, these brushes are kind of fun. So the first one we have is a blush and contour brush. It is the C30. It has like an iridescence to it though, or is that holographic? Uh, the brush itself feels really soft though. It does feel super soft. It's nicely like densely packed. And then the second brush that came in the pack is a blush and powder C350 or otherwise known as a uh, Nimbus 2000. Uh, you know, just very like aerodynamic, good for Quidditch. I am kind of excited about this one because I feel like it's going to be a nice fluffy brush once we get the little like cage off of it. Oh, no, not, I mean, you know, not, not what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting it to like out of this little like, container there, but it stayed relatively pointed. But again, very, very soft. It is pretty fluffy. Yeah, that's pretty fluffy. Most of my fluffy brushes are more of this shape. So I feel like I definitely could have a use for this. Not quite sure what just yet, but I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for this because it feels, it feels really good. And then finally, last but not least, we have a, another item here from Trace Luce Beauty. This is an Empower Me, oh, matte lipstick. So we got the Trace Luce eye primer in the last box. And this one, we have a lipstick. Ooh again. All right, it's in the shade Nudie Pink, which I do kind of like that. Um, but I'm wondering if the shade is also going to be very similar to like the liquid lipstick shade in that it's kind of like milky, maybe a little peachy. Ooh, I really like the bullet of this though. It's blue and square. It feels nice and hefty. Is that like a metal? It just seems a little bit different than your standard lipstick bullet. I bet it's magnetized. Oh, and it is magnetized. This might be a really pretty color. It is kind of on the like the dusty side. It could be a little like milky, but I'm not seeing a ton of like peach undertones. I like they have a little uh, tea pressed into the top there. That's pretty cute. I'm just gonna swatch up this real fast. Ooh. Is that somehow the same exact shade as that lipstick from Context? I mean, look at this. Look how similar that is. That's incredible, and especially in real life, like that is super, super similar. I feel like this one might have maybe a little less of a warm undertone, a little less peach, and pull a little bit more like pinky red instead of like peachy orange. But I mean, it's it's super close. Well, also dying because now I have two lipsticks and I'm not 100% sure how much use I'm gonna get out of them. But I think I like this one just the tiniest touch better because they're 
there is only like a tiny touch of difference. This one I might actually try on uh, just to see how it like, feels on lips and stuff. All right, so the brush set from Farah is $24. Let me like keep track of this. Maybe if I just type it into my calculator as I'm going, that could, there we go. <laughs> there we go. I was gonna try to find a pen and paper, but technology. Then we have the half cake to blush and highlight, which is $18. The eyeshadow here, which is $42. And so far the combination of those two things are also $42, so that's fun. The Trace Luce lipstick is $16. Also, I'm very self-conscious of the way I say dollars and I'm not sure, but like I can't pronounce it any other way besides like dollars. And I try to change it and like do different inflections and things and it comes out weird every single time. So, so maybe I should just change the word entirely. So like this face wash is 27 buckaroos. Our second box came to a grand total of $127. So it's about like $11 less valuable than the first box. Ah! I feel like I almost like this one a little bit better. We got two brushes instead of sponges. And depending on what you prefer, that could make a difference there. We also got like a blush and a highlight in that little compact. I like this lipstick and I like that we got something from Origin. So I personally think even like this but even though this box is less expensive, technically, um, I think I like this one more. And whatever you prefer adds value. So like, if you like sponges more, then those sponges are more valuable than those brushes, if that makes sense. So that was everything between the two boxy charms, which is still very difficult for me to say because you know, like literally it's ipsy. But those are our two boxy charms. So now I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a try on. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do my face. We'll come back and maybe do some eyeshadow. And I'll try out that lipstick. And uh, yeah, that'll be about it. Oh, and then I forgot I got this. So yeah, I'm gonna do most of the base of my face, eyebrows, that kind of stuff. We'll do cheeks and eyes and lips at the end. Before we move on, I'd love to tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I truly love working with and using Squarespace. It's been a few years now and the overall experience has been amazing. I personally use Squarespace for my businesses, Apparitions Vintage Village and Second in Maine in Richmond, Kentucky, but the possibilities of Squarespace are endless. Squarespace offers so many cool and useful features. It allows first time website builders or seasoned pros to create a website that'll help you stand out and succeed online. Their fluid engine design system is groundbreaking and allows for unlimited creativity. Activity. Starting from a website template, you can drag and drop elements on your site and customize every detail on both desktop and mobile. With the online store, you can sell your products whether physical, digital, or service-based. And Squarespace will have all the tools you need to get started selling online through your website. And you can also drive sales and engage your audience with Squarespace email campaigns. You can easily collect email subscribers to gain connections and build repeat customers. And you can send out sales and promotions to help boost your business. So if you're looking for a way to create a unique online presence, boost your brand, or help run your business, Squarespace has you covered. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com says Alexandria Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. And just thank you so very much to Squarespace for your continued support of the channel. It means the world to me. Oh, that's money. Oh, that's money. Okay, I am back. The base of my face is on and there's something in my eye. Let's go ahead and get on to this little palette here and try to do some type of eye look. I mean, it's definitely gonna be a very natural, neutral, kind of everyday thing because th this is what we're working with. <laughs> so a little bit different than the recent looks that I've done on the channel, but uh, you know, this is probably more my speed. So I think I'm just gonna start off with this deep brown shade right here. Um, oh, I didn't do that very good. I think it's the shade No BS. And this I'm going to fluff onto the lid and use this kind of like a transition. And then I might deepen it here on the lid itself. It actually blends really nicely. I didn't really set my eyes too much. I did just like a tiny, tiny bit of powder over the foundation that was on my eyes. I didn't use the eye primer. I just, I'm not an eye primer person. Sorry guys, I had to change the battery in my camera again. I think my trustiest camera that I've had for going on I don't even know how many years now. It's been a lot of years. Is maybe might maybe bite in the dust a little bit, or maybe just the batteries. Maybe any new batteries. Uh, but yeah, I didn't use the eye primer. I just really I never use it, so I hate to waste that on just doing like one look. Alright, now I think I'm gonna darker like the outer and inner corners with that same no BS shade. Uh, she kind of gave like a nice smoky look. Now that that is on, I think I'm just gonna go right in the center of the eye with this shade over here, which is Scandal. And just use my finger and tap it on. And then right in the center of that, I'm gonna go for this lighter shade, which is Sorry Not Sorry, just to give a little bit more like shimmer right there in the center. And I might smoke out the lower lash line just a tiny touch. Here's the eye look with a little bit of mascara and brown liner. It's nothing crazy. It's just kind of like a smudgy, kind of grungy, smoky look. Um, I think it's fine though. I think, you know, it's like an everyday kind of thing. I think the shadows went on really well. They blended really nicely. This eye is so much messier than this are for some reason, uh, but the shadows did go on really well and I like them. So I definitely think I'm going to get some use out of this palette. However, I'm not really sure now with like this eye look and stuff, if this blush and like the pink lip are going to, I don't think they're going to work really well. Um, I'll go ahead and put on the pink lip because that's something I can wipe off just to see like how it feels on the lips. My lips are so chapped. 
they're so chapped. Oh, they're so dry. Um, let's go ahead and try this on. Oh my gosh, it makes the dry lips look so bad. Oh my heaven. My lips look like two like shedded snake skins that are crumpled up. Lip color isn't too bad. I personally think it's a little too pink for this look, but like it feels fine, but it's also making my lips look so extra dry. It's really emphasizing all like the little peely bits. Okay, maybe I should, maybe let's just pick another one. Instead, I'm gonna go for the Ciate lip liner with just a little bit of gloss on the top. This has kind of been my go-to combination recently. It's not too dissimilar in color from the lipstick, but like it was making my lips look real bad. It's just a little bit more on like the purpley-ish side than it is the pink side. Okay, I personally think the tone of this works much better with the eyes, but now for the cheeks, I just really think this bright pink is just not gonna work out. So maybe that kind of peachy highlight will. So let's just use the highlight out of this guy here. I think that tone could like go with the rest of these tones. So let's See how this works out okay yeah i think that's actually nice it's giving the cheeks a nice glow i just put on a little bit more bronzer to like kind of act as my blush to give my cheeks some dimension i might have put on too much but that's just kind of what i do uh the highlight though is like it's it's highlighting like i feel like my cheeks are very shiny i'm just gonna blend everything in together just a little bit extra <laughs> all right and here is the completed look all right you guys so that was everything in my two box of charms and everything tried on my face um i thought these were decent boxes i did i really did like the eyeshadow palettes that they had in them this month and there's some other cute little things in the boxes you know nothing like crazy nothing out there but a, a very standard kind of boxy charm slash ipsy box and uh, yeah, I, I think they're fine let me know what you guys said about the boxes the makeup look anything that you have opinions on i love reading responding to your comments and uh, yeah that's all i have you guys today so thank you so very much for watching please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind it'll mean the absolute world to me and i just hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and i'll see y'all next time bye <laughs>